Yes, I hate being right like this. And yes, it is scary, um, but not the kind of fear that you think normal people should have. This is more of a fear of the outcome because we don't really know how it's going to come out. And I explain what I mean like in a second here. What they're planning, we all know that control and dominance is what they really want. How they go about getting it, they pick and choose, but there is one very specific method that they use, and that is fear. Whether that you are actually afraid of them or afraid of what they can do, or you're afraid of what they can do to people you love. Fear. Now, I told you, told you, that uh, they would find him dead. Found him dead. My other prediction was that they would uh, start telling you who he was affiliated with. Guess what? It's happening. You know the worst part of this is? That if the third part of this prediction comes true? Wow. Because here's the problem. If they really do go through with their whole mindset of branding you and I terrorists because we don't want to give up our rights, what's our step? What do we do? Do we just take the title and say, well, if that's the way you really feel, become that? Because here's the thing. There are going to be some people, and I don't think it's going to be a whole lot, but there are going to be some people that really, 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 I know a lot of people really love their guns. And the government coming to them and say, if you don't turn it in, we'll brand you a terrorist. And you can look at them and you'll, these people will say, brand me a terrorist. You, you already did everything else you could to me. What, what more is branding me a terrorist going to do to me? What? In fact, there are going to be a few, unhinged few, that may do something completely in agreement with that title. Do they care? I would advise you people not to. Not don't don't give in to their branding. I mean, you can take the title. Feel free. Run with it. In fact, embrace the title, but don't give in to the ideology behind that title. Cuz they're banking on it. They they're planning for you to give in to so much stress and problem that you just act out on the title they give you. So why is it so scary? It's scary because of how right we are. <laughs> That's the scary part. What they're doing is not something I should be afraid of. I'm not, we're not afraid of them. But it's scary how correct you can be when you're seeing things correctly. This is no longer about a tinfoil wearing hat conspiracy nonsense because it can't be conspiracy if it's happening. Y'all can call us anything you want, but conspiracy isn't one of those things. If I can tell you that it's going to rain tomorrow and tomorrow shows up and it rains, I can't be a kook and I can't be conspiracizing. I have to be truthful. If the weatherman tells you it's going to snow tomorrow and it doesn't snow, we give the weatherman an out. We say, oh, well, you know, you don't, he can't always get it right. But, but when we don't get it right, you're a conspiracy theorist. Come. We're batting based on what we see and what we see is a problem. And it's a big one. I've always said that 2024 is an up in the air thing. And, and, and right now, um, all signs lead to my fourth prediction being right. No election. I don't like it. I hate being right like this. I hate being at right at the expense of people's liberties and freedoms and life. But it is what it is and we are where we are. Mr. Card long line of planning went into this and they're doing it systematically just like we thought they would first you get rid of him brand him what he is and those affiliated with who you brand him with are next in line to suffer the same fate if they don't comply time will tell whether or not i'm right but the way things look right now i'm not banking on me being wrong I am hopeful that I'm wrong. I, re I sincerely hope and pray that I am wrong. But if I'm not wrong, a few of us have some choices to make. Consider this. You're a hunter. Okay? And all you do is just hunt. That's all you have your arsenal for. You don't deal in protecting yourself. You're just out there to hunt. Either for sport or for food, you're just a hunter. 
you happen to possess a weapon that they brand illegal. No longer can have it. And they come to you and they said, turn it in. And, and you say, uh, why? I'm just, just using it for hunting. Well, be, we've been through your social media and we see that you have some tendencies. <laughs> so unless you can change those tendencies or prove to us that you no longer believe the things you believe, we're going to need that. You see, this is how they're going to tell you. They're not going to come and boom, 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 on your door and open up FBI, CIA, ATF and kick your door and say, give me them ammunition. They're not going to do that. They have to make you be the bad guy. You have to act out to prove them right. You see, if they just came and kicked your door in, they'd be the bad guy. They're not that dumb. They'll come gently and say, hey, man, look. You know, for the safety of all involved, you know, I, I think it's best that you just, just give us that. Uh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, I thought you cared about people. I, I do my people. Oh, that sounds like a right wing conspiracy. Oh man, you must be a terrorist. What, what do you mean? Oh, he doesn't want to give up his guns. All right. Flag him red. He's a, tr he's a problem. Um, we need to see everything he's ever done in his life. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. If you said one thing ill, we're going to persecute you and take your guns away, make you a felon. And now you can't have the gun legally. Far-fetched, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Far-fetched. I'll take it. In any event, we had to come back and let you know that piece by piece, things are starting to show up. And we told you we'd stick to this like wine on rice, and we have to stay true to that. I don't like being the bearer of bad news. And I don't necessarily think it's completely bad news, but it is. Now we have to see what they're going to do. Whether they're going to come for us directly and force us, or come for us indirectly and make us make the decision. As I keep saying... Time will tell. <laughs>